right, here is my next folder. Um, this is like a shiny plastic brown folder. Um, this is from Newport, Oregon. We went to Newport, Oregon in 2017. Um, we went, I think it was February. There is a town um, around Valentine's Day that puts, um, artists make um, glass floats and they put them on the beach and then anyone who finds them gets to keep them. And it's a yearly tradition and so Robert had read about it and we wanted to go check it out. And so we went there, we stayed at this Hallmark Resort, it was pretty cool. So that's the room key. Um, so we flew so into Oregon, now I can't remember, Portland. We flew into Portland and drove three hours to this town, um, Newport, Oregon. And uh, it was interesting, we loved it. Um, we went to Ripley's, we really, really loved it. I would definitely go back, we have talked about going back. Um, but the only thing is, it was a long flight. And then after we, um, I think it was like a three and a half, four hour flight. Um, and you're, you're thinking that's not really that long. You're right. A three and a four and a half hour flight is not that long, but we go to Florida a lot and it's only a two hour flight. So when you compare it to a two hour flight to Florida, it's long for us. So, um, we just haven't uh, made any plans to go back, but we really, we talk about it. We really need to. This is Ripley's. I have like, I love going to different Ripley's, even though they're pretty much all the same, but that's my thing. Every time I see a new Ripley's, I like to go. And then let's see more fly flyers. So anyway, we flew there and then we had to drive three hours to Newport. The hotel was awesome. I really loved it. It was on the beach. Um, we did not find any of the artesian um, glass floats, but we did find lots of little beach treasures and we did buy a couple um, floats to take home. But I mean, you have to realize the chance of finding one of these glass floats is, is very rare because there are thousands and thousands of people who, who go to do this. Um, and so, but it was still fun. And the beaches there are completely different. Like when you're used to Florida beaches, um, Newport, Oregon, like it's just completely different. The shells are different. It's got more like what I call flotsam and jetsam. It's got like more like driftwood and just, you know, kind of sometimes trash especially at the time like with all the tsunamis and stuff like lots and lots of trash was washing up on the beach um but you know it's, it can be interesting and then oh, sorry that's personal and then um the map of newport stationery southwest info and travel newport all right so not tons, not tons of little scraps. So what I am going to do is, this is perfect, if you've been watching my last couple ones, I've been using this Traveler's Journal, and this is absolutely perfect. I am going to add this Newport Vacation to the rest of this. I've got plenty of little pages, um, and they're all gonna go in there. I mean, of course the Ripley book is not gonna fit, but I wouldn't cut down that book anyway. I, I'll put that with all my other Ripley stuff. And yeah, this is going to work out perfectly. So let me get started on that and I will show you when I'm done. Good morning. I finished my Newport, Oregon section of this traveler's journal. And so this is Newport, Oregon. And again, I just use stencils because I have the worst writing ever. Um, and just some photos um, from my sprocket. And I got a, uh, one of those punches that rounds the corner. I did that on some of the photos. I like how that looks. And I, of course, expenses, like I always do, travel expenses, food expenses, and souvenirs. Um, and then um, after, after I write out these expenses, some of the receipts I'll keep if I like the name of the place, but the rest I end up just shredding because the point is I am trying to consolidate all my scraps, my souvenir scraps, because you know for each vacation I make a folder and it just takes up a lot of space. And so since these are all receipts from, these are like 2017, tax purposes, I really don't need them anymore. And so for the ones I don't keep for the junk journal, I just shred the rest and it really uh, helps get rid of, you know, extra stuff because I love my stuff, but sometimes I can have too much. So if I can whittle it down in this nice book, that's, that's the goal. So, but of course I do still keep a lot, but, um, I do also throw away a lot. And then, um, here is just our flight info, 
Um, I don't always, I, now I try to um, print out, when we fly, I try to print out boarding passes, but back then I didn't because you know everything's on your phone. But now that I am making more of these um, scrapbooks, I definitely will make a point of printing out boarding passes. And then this was um, a map of the hotel um, showing where our room is and everything. So I just glued that and folded it so it would fit and then just have this well tell paper clip to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. And then um, I don't always keep the room keys. Some hotels let you keep the room keys. Some hotels um, want them back and they'll charge if you don't give them back. So um, I th these, this place wanted their room keys back. And then um, this our hotel room had an electric fireplace that was really cool and just like a tide chart book and you know the envelope I cut down to turn it into a pocket and we went to Ripley's believe it or not I just cut down some of the brochures and they had a Zoltar machine I loved putting a dollar in a Zoltar machine and getting my fortune and then these were like the ticket stubs from the um, Ripley's and then see that's my husband next to Bigfoot that was cool and then just a receipt I kept, another picture of Bigfoot. This was at the Waxworks, Waxworks next to a Ripley's, or it's part of Ripley's, that you could get a combo pack. It's Ripley's, a Waxworks, and then an undersea a museum. The undersea museum or undersea aquarium or whatever was really, really bad. It was the worst, but um, I don't know. It was the worst. Don't waste your money on <laughs> Newport's undersea aquarium. Um, this is a picture I got from one of the brochures of the lighthouse in the area. This is a picture that my husband took, but there's an app on the phone where you can take a photo and turn it into a painting. And so he did that and I just thought that turned out great. And then I'm sure I can do it too, but I just, I'm not very good with my phone. And then that's the lighthouse again. It's a park, so you got your little national park um, brochure. So I kept that whole, just made a little pocket. And then another uh, brochure I liked, the shopping guide to Newport, so just made like a side tuck pocket. And then that's, oh, that's it. The last page is um, at Newport at the uh, dock. There's a whole bunch of sills. I don't know if you can really see that. And so I took a picture and then just some scraps to make it look um, pretty. I have a couple pages left. Um, I ran out of scraps. This Newport vacation was great, but I don't know, I didn't have that much scraps, so that I wanted to keep. There was actually a lot of brochures, but um, I wanted it something that had a memory and this was it. So I don't know, I'm pretty much done with this one. I'll just leave these blank. I probably will go back and journal because as I'm flipping through, I realized I didn't write any notes and I usually like to write notes about the trip and stuff. So I'll go back and journal um, because this was a fun trip and we would definitely do, we would definitely go back to Newport. I actually talked to my husband. We might go back this year because um, he enjoyed it too. So this is a traveler's journal that I already had. As you can see, I've already got a completed book from some previous vacations. And so I am going to add that to this second. And I'm pretty much just gonna call this one done and add it to my bookshelf in my office. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, I have a timer or a sensor. Okay, there we go. So yep, this one is done. So I've got like four or five vacations in here. And I don't mind tabs sticking out a little. I just don't like it sticking out too much. As you can see, it still closes perfectly. And then these just, let's see, I gotta remember how I always do this. I like to wrap it around once. There we go. Anyway, I have a bookshelf in my office now that is just for my traveler's journals and my altered books. And so I will go add that to the shelf because I doubt I add any more to this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later.